Okay, here's a little wrap up what I need to do this year. Uh, the wine cellar actually is below the ground on this tower part. This whole building was built after the Second World War and the tower part was an AIV photo tower for some time but it's naturally not been used in decades. Uh, we've repaired the outside, added the windows and done a lot of work internally so far but there's still a lot of things to do yeah the middle part here is actually a woodshed a little bit of wood mostly junk in there and all the way on the other end there's an old sauna building we've done a little bit of repairs to it but uh, it's gonna take a long time before it's going to be actually a, a usable sauna unless we need win a lottery of course but anyway what we need to do this year is to continue on this wine cellar part there's no water drainage below the ground and that's what the uh, black pipes are for i need to get a digger here and starting below the stairs and going around the building the octagonal bar apart and a little bit towards the woodshed and then cross the pipe so that the drainage is towards the field which is obviously lower and I naturally need to do sealing off the rather poor quality concrete from the outside with tar and different types of tar products so there's no leakage from the outside anymore it's pretty tight right now i filled a large crack from the inside and uh, okay let's go first up the stairs or actually there's a little bit of a digging that needs to be done on this part as the main electrical power comes into this pole yeah we need to dig a route for naturally the cable and uh, get into this building there was an old cable but that's uh, I need to redo the whole thing all electricity in this building let's go up the stairs and these are actually made years and years ago as you can tell from the weathering effect on this treated wood scenery is a little bit different from here and the inside uh, this is what the state it currently is there's very little left of the original stuff pretty much the gray gray or darker brown stuff is the original stuff and on the walls well a couple of two by fours i've added some new stuff naturally the windows are new and this is going to be a round and with the cupola as a ceiling it's a large three meter no not not three meter two two meter diameter satellite antenna which is going to be have some art in it my daughter is going to paint for it i need to take this vertical beam away and reinforce the structure a little bit more and naturally insulate it before we hoist the uh, dome up there hopefully later this summer I'm not sure about it the floor I made it's based for an octagonal floor which naturally takes a lot more time I put a little bit of a foam insulation 
and with the reflective aluminum on both sides so that the gold actually stays down in the wine cellar part and not coming up. Uh, these bales here are insulation. I uh, just need to put some stuff in the bucket and then use this thing with a drill to fluff it up and then pour it in through the various holes so that I get can get the insulation done uh, at least in some kind of efficiency. Uh, as the outside is octagon and the inside is going to be round so it's going to be, how would I say, fun of doing this. Nothing is really really straightforward in here. Uh, as I said, here's the final opening on the floor and very steep steps. It's a prefabricated uh, staircase that's going to be inputted here, but I don't have the money yet to buy it, so I don't like to use this entrance at the moment as it's steep and going up the steps and then down the, this ladder is not that fun doing it 20, 30 times a day or more. Okay, let's go see the other side and downstairs. Ah, the woodshed entrance. I can use this nicely when it has a poor weather. I don't get soaking wet here. And here we go towards the temporary opening and the actually new, new place for the electrical stuff. And that's why we need the new cable for this. And here's our little temporary opening downstairs. It's much easier from this side at the moment to get, get into. Okay. Next to the inside. The wine cellar. Okay, now we're standing in the current wine cellar floor. Uh, we poured, well actually first we did is uh, there was a lot of crap in here and I had to clean it up, build some gravel and then insulation and then concrete. So now it's pretty nice and most likely we're not going to get any water coming from the ground. Uh, here's the crack. The, the part of the very large crack all around here with uh, filled with uh, liquid epoxy and uh, doesn't leak anymore. That's the fun part. We've uh, cleaned with a steel brush and a grinder this wall a couple times, but still things keep falling from this vertical part. I still need to clean it after the winter. Well, it was not really a winter. A little bit of water has been here. I have no clue where it came from. But hopefully when we do the outside work, that will stop. This little paint-like looking stuff here is actually a waterproof membrane. I need to, the whole, whole concrete part plus the floor, I need to waterproof it completely just to make sure. Uh, there will be tiles on the floor and on this concrete wall part. 
uh, have an idea of the type for both, but uh, they are not cheap. So I'm going to stick with the woodwork. It has all this blue stuff and our leftovers from the main building renovation. I've got plenty of that. So the walls are going to be blue and vertical slats all the way. But first I have to put the rest of these little slats that I've made soaked in water and then let them dry in a curved state and uh, now I need to fix them on on the wall first what else well I got the electrical routes available a couple more on that side and still more here the actual the it will be indirectly in direct lighting on top of these beams there's gonna be aluminum lead strips in each and every one of them and they are fully dimmable so that will be the main lighting and probably we'll have also some candle holders hanging from there so to create an atmosphere the ceiling is almost complete uh, I need to do the finishing touches and uh, that was fun to make last last summer okay let's see how this thing goes forward hope you enjoyed this little chit chat and I've just got a hell of a lot of work to do. Thanks for your time.